Hey, welcome to my show. Um, I am at the end of my quarantine. I don't have the virus, but I was exposed. So I have been spending 10 days um, away from people. Anyways, um, I'm going to make some macaroni uh, fried balls, I guess it's called, where you take your macaroni and cheese that's already prepped, that you make it normal. However you make your macaroni and cheese, that's how you do it. And so this is my macaroni cheese that I made last night. So it's been in the refrigerator, so it doesn't look as pretty and good as it normally does. So, yes, so that's what you do. I've washed my hands. And so basically what you're going to do is going to scoop out. This is my first cooking show, so I, you see how it's coming out in the middle. But um, if you let me know if you want me to show y'all. Um, how I make my macaroni and cheese, leave it down in the comments and I will. But anyways, so you make macaroni and cheese, you use leftover macaroni and cheese, and you take it, and it's pretty big, but you cut it, into, you make it into a ball. Like this. You know, if, and I use an ice cream scooper. So it can all come out on one size, a big one. A regular size ice cream scooper. I'm not gonna say big, but regular size ice cream scooper. And you're going to make it into a ball. And then you're going to put it on some uh, wax paper. Like that. And so I'm gonna finish that up. I'm gonna pop it in the refrigerator for about two hours to get it hard. And then I'll come back on here to show y'all how to make them. Uh, let me pop back on here really quick. I have found, I put cheese on top of my macaroni and cheese when I make it for my family. I have found it easier to, um, when you make your macaroni and cheese, if you're going to make the balls, not to put cheese on top. Um, as you can see, let me show you. It's easier to um, make it into a ball when it doesn't have the cheese on top. So what I'm doing is just digging underneath all that goody, good, good cheese and just getting the macaroni cheese underneath that doesn't have the cheese on top. And it's easier to form into a, a um, ball. So I'm gonna make about 12 of these. And like I said, I'm gonna pop them in the freezer. Um, I'm gonna do about 45 minutes, so I can come back on here. But as long as it's firm, that's all you were looking for, um, is to make them firm. And then what I'm going to do after that is you're going to roll them in um, a beaded egg. And then once that you get out the beaded egg, you're going to roll it in breadcrumbs. And then you're going to put it in the, in the uh, air fryer. And as you can see, I have two. This is um, a 8-in-1 um, from Instant. And no, they're not sponsoring me, but they can. Holler at me. And this is also Instant. Instant needs to um, sponsor me because I have a lot of their um, product. I have an Instant Pot. I have, this is an Instant I got from my um, godmother for Christmas. And then I got this. Um, and this, like I said, this is a 7-in-1 or 8-in-1. You can grill. Uh, you can rotisserie a chicken. Hold on, let me look at this. So you can, it's an air fryer, a roaster. You can broil, bake. A preheat, uh, dehydrate fruit. We did that with my grandchild. Um, and then this is a rotate if you want to, you press rotate if you want to rotate your chicken or whatever you're cooking. And then this is a light. So you can see in it and whatever. So anyways, um, like I said, I'm going to put this inside of um, the freezer for about 45 minutes. And then after that, um, I'll come back on here and you can finish this with me. Alrighty, see ya. Okay, I'm back on, but I'm just just for a minute. I want to show you the balls, and now it's going to go in the freezer, and I shall revert, be back, be back, look, be back, and with the magic of the internet, it won't be long. Okay, now while that is in the freezer. I thought I'd come in to our mixer. 
So what I'm going to do, I never measure anything. Maybe I should so that you, you guys, it really doesn't matter. It depends on how many you make. Okay. So you're going to put in a half a cup of milk or not even half a cup. Just eye it. Milk. I don't use measuring cups. I don't know you guys. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to use four eggs. Go play in the living room. You can later on. I'll, have, I'll let you put it in the air fryer when it's done. My grandson wants to help. Later on, yes. Go use the bathroom. Excuse me, guys. Life of a mother never ends. And so, there we have it. Eggs, milk, and I'm going to get a little seasoning. You don't have to do this. I just want to just add a little. I'm going to put in a dash of cayenne pepper. Just a dash. And my two favorites. And be careful because both of them are salt. So I'm going to put a dash of this. And no, it's not sponsored. I wish it was. Come on, sponsor letters. Letters, come on in. I know I don't have a lot of followers. Tell your friends. And you know what? Um, right now, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And come on, follow me. And subscribe so you know when I post another cooking video or some type of video. Um, my grandson's going to be uh, posting a video later on um, once my husband finished um, his little area. Um, he wants to preach and he wants to do science videos. So look out for that. But make sure you subscribe so you know when it pops up. So anyways, I put a dash of each. Literally. Boop, 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 boop. And that's it. And then... I'm going to you're just going to do all that. Get that all nice and good. Stir, 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 stir. stir. I know my first cooking video is waka waka craziness. And I'm already seven minutes in. Yeah. There you go. My grandson, he thinks he's a pastor. He says he's a pastor. I'm going to say he thinks he may be a pastor when he grows up. He says that he's a pastor. And um, he says that our pastor is his superhero. He can have different, another hero. So I'm glad that it's our pastor. You know what I mean? Because it could be so many other people. So for him to think that our pastor is his superhero, uh, shout out to Pastor Morgan. Um, I, I like that. So anyway, there you have it. That's that. And then again, I'm not sponsored, but any kind of bread breadcrumbs. I like um, using a garlic and herb. And so uh, you just put a little in there. Just just eye it. It's just enough to coat uh, your macaroni and cheese. And so this is the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to run over and go get the um, macaroni and cheese balls out the freezer. And I will return. Alrighty, so after 45 minutes been in the freezer, here they are. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to spray my trays that's going to go into the um, instant, I mean, the instant air fryer. <laughs> I often say the instant pot. So anyway, I spray it. And then I'm going to put that right there. Have it. So no, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna put it on the plate. This is it. You might hear my um, grandkids in the back. Jace, you know, having a spirit of excellence. So you take this, put it in the egg. Then take it, put it in the egg. I don't know if y'all saw that. There we go. And then you're going to put it in the breadcrumbs and make sure it's coated. Do you see me? I got a wrong bowl for that. Y'all can't really see what I'm doing. I don't know if it's or not. But anyway, and then you're going to take it and you pull it up. I'm going to show you one more and then I'm going to finish it up and I will be back. Coated with the egg. Make sure it's coated, nice and coated. 
then you're gonna bread crumb. And everyone loves my macaroni and cheese, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna love these. I cannot wait for, to see my sister's them response when they see what I'm making. They're gonna shoot their little selves over here and try to get one. Then, voila. So, let me finish those up and I will show you. All righty, I got them all coated. And I can't have this macaroni and cheese is so good. Oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Anyways, I got it all colored. I'm going to take a little spray. Excuse me. Anything you put in your air fryer, you want to spray just a little bit on it. At least that's what I've noticed. So let me spray just a little bit. I have about five of them in there already that I've already sprayed. So I sprayed them. I sprayed this side. The one that burn. And I'm going to pop them in the instant pot. As you can see, I don't want them. There we go. Maybe that's too close. Um, tell me if, if you use the instant pot for some reason. I know that this, whatever's close to the top, cooks faster than this so I always press the rotate button halfway through so I've never done this so I'm gonna cook it on let's say five minutes and then we'll uh, rotate and then we'll do another one so I'm gonna put 10 minutes on there so first you could do air fry 350 for the temp you can change and then let's it's on 16 minutes but let's get it down to 10 minutes 10 minutes and then you press start First, rotate and then start. And so it's on, as you can see. And when it's done, I will come back and um, show you what it looks like, and we will have a taste. Thank you for joining. Um, if you have not joined, make sure you join the family. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I uh, hit that button if you want more cooking shows. And also, um, what I was gonna say, leave in the comments. Um, if you want me to show you how I cook my macaroni and cheese, I'm going to give the secret away. So if you want me to do a video of that, then let me know. Washing all this. And like I said, um, it's cooking. And um, as you can see, let me bring you over here so you can see it closer. So there's a roll and then there's a roll. And then here's and then it's on. It's going to show me the time in just a second. Hold on. Usually, like when it heats up, it usually tells you how many more minutes you have. But anyway, if you have not used a uh, air fryer, I promise you, especially if you have kids, I suggest that you get one. Um, like I said, I like that I have two because what I normally would do, well, I'll put my uh, meats and vegetables or something like that in there. And then if it's something small that we're just cooking, then I usually use this for like my french fries or something like that. So. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let me show you the. It's, I just used it last night. That's why it's not in there. That's what it looks like. So, that's what that one looks like. And then this one is a little bit different. This is more of a turn thing. So here's the air fryer. You can roast chicken and roast whatever in there. The time, cancel, temp, reheat bake and start. I'm going to try to bake a cake in here um, on my next show. Wish me luck. But anyway, let me take this out so I can finish washing it. We had chicken last night. So anyways, I shall return. Thank you. So my grandchild is coming on. He wants to talk to you guys. Go ahead, get your chair. Excuse his hair. He's getting a haircut today. What are you going to talk to the people about? while we wait on our food to get done. I'm talking about the food is done. Okay. Well, it's going to be a little bit. Can you tell them about your show? Come up here. Excuse me. Come up. Hold on. Let me turn. All right. Come on. Tell them about your show. Okay. First say hello. Hello. Stand up. My, okay. My, my name is Jace. Uh-huh. Tell them about 
Today, I'm going to talk about... Say, uh, when, tell them about, say, I'm going to have a show. I have a show, and I'm going to talk... And you're going to preach? I'm preach... And that, that, science. Uh, that, that's tomorrow. Okay, that's tomorrow. We're not going to preach today. That's tomorrow. And, uh -huh. and what else? And then... Turn around. You got to look at the people. And then... What else? Um, I'm talk about like I'm talk about. Can you tell them how old you are? I'm three and I'm gonna have to get you down if you keep on looking over there because the camera's not over there. It's right here. You gotta look at the people. Um, excuse me. Uh. Okay, let them sh let them watch me rotate the food. Okay, so it's time to rotate. So basically, I just open up the door, and I'm going to take out the top, and I'll put it on top so that I can get the other one and rotate it. Looking good so far. Looking good. I'm sure they want what it looks like. They're almost done. You see around there, it just has a little bit longer to do. Okay, go ahead. You can talk to him while I finish. Well, today I'm talking about. See? Look see, forward. See? Look at yourself. I'm talking about the food is ready done. It's not done. We have about three more minutes. Uh, I'm talking about the food, me. Okay, but you have to look at the people and talk or get down. Oh, uh, I'm talking about food. Well, it's a few more minutes, so. Okay. Well, when when the okay, we'll talk about this. When the uh, I'll be back. Let me the plate. The food is like sour, but a food like sour. If you hear any knocking, we have another one in the living room. It's um, not also, hold on. If you don't know, um, my husband and I are foster parents. These are our biological grandkids that um, we are adopting. And, um, and of course, I'm not going to tell their story. That's their story. But we will be adopting. But also, we have um, one other foster um, baby. And we just said goodbye to our foster daughter. It's so sad. Um, we got her when she was two days old. And yay, she went home with mom. But we are going to miss her so much. And if you want to know more about foster care, leave that in the um, comment area as well. And I've had previous videos, and they're crazy just like this one, all over the place. But I will do an update um, on our foster journey. All right. Are y'all ready for this? Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Stay right there. Stay yummy, yummy. Yeah. When 
it goes. Tell them what we'll be right back. When it goes forward, our side, mm -hmm. or it goes like really down, or it goes like up. He's not shy from the camera at all. Well, when it goes like turn around or turn up. When when it goes like it goes like this. No, it sir. Goes, goes like forward, forward. When it goes. All right, let's around. let's come back mm -hmm. for a minute. Let's go off for one minute, and we'll be right back. And like that. All righty. Welcome yes. back to our show. Welcome back to our show. Say so welcome back to our show. Welcome back to our show. What I need to do with this? We're gonna try it. Okay, let's show the people. See how golden Ooh, that is. We could have cooked a little please. longer, but it's okay. I'm trying to rush so we can hurry up and show you guys. These All right, let me get a fork. You can bite into it or you can get a fork, but well, okay, eat it. everything going on, yeah, eat this? safety. Yes, let's show them first. So let's bring it. Sit up. Okay, let's show them. There we go. Video. Oh, hot. So hot. So. Uh, I'm just blow it. Oh, I'm just blow it. Okay. Let me blow it for you. Here you go. It's going to be really yummy. You think it's going to be really yummy? Here, let's try this little piece for you. Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mmm. Is it yes or no? Mmm. -hmm. They can't see it. So. Is it really yum? Is it real? Let me try. No. Mmm. I'm gonna go to him. Okay. Mm. Can you can Jim bite it? Mm-hmm. Come here. Want some? Mmm. Okay. That's so good. So Get good. Get a bite. Guys. Get a bite, dude. Uh -uh. That might be hot for him. Oh mm. my goodness. Oh wow. You guys, that's good. It's really good. Is it really good, Jalen? Do you like it? You like it? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so anyways. If you like to see more um um videos, then let me know. You sponsors from Insta, I'ma need Insta, I'ma need you to hit me up. Put your girl up. All right, make sure y'all like, mm. comment, and subscribe. See you later. Thank you for watching. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Try for